My name is Dominika Kroll and we're in Johnstall Castle to talk about Gaeta's emissions from agriculture. There are two types of agricultural emissions, greenhouse gases like methane and nitrous oxide, and these are responsible for climate change, and air pollutants like ammonia that have negative impact on human and animal health while also uh, damaging ecosystems. I'm going to concentrate on ammonia emissions. Ammonia is a gaseous form of nitrogen. Uh, where it's lost in ag agriculture is from uh, manure storage and land spreading, chemical fertiliser applications and grazing animals. In Ireland, agriculture is responsible for 99% of ammonia em emissions. Uh, we've committed to reducing those emissions. However, since 2016, we've actually been exceeding our targets. So complying with these reduction targets is important as it underpins sustainability and green credentials of Irish agricultural production. Chagask has carried out extensive research into technologies to reduce these emissions, such as protected urea, low emission slurry spreading, clover, extended grazing, uh, slurry additives and so on. And the two top technologies that give the best results are protected urea and low emission slurry spreading. Protected urea is a fertiliser formulation that reduces emissions by over 70%. It's also cost effective and it's proven to be just as effective as other nitrogen formulations in um, getting the yield, uh, grass yield right. Low emission slurry spreading, such as straining shoe, has been proven to cut ammonia losses by half, while also improving nutrient use efficiency of the slurry. So it's very important that these technologies are adopted by farmers and become mainstream so that we can uh, meet our emission reduction targets. I have a training shoe since 2008. We were one of the earlier ones. There are several advantages. Nitrogen usage and uh, obviously the saving in that, it's significant over splash plate. Uh, the environmental, your emissions are a lot lower, uh, obviously, which is important. Your smell and the effect of, on the environment on your neighbours is significant. Uh, your visual effect is almost, you don't know you have spread it. And one other big advantage is you can spread it on grassland that has a reasonable amount of growth there and you could graze cattle literally within two days, they, they will graze it happily. They're an expensive machine to buy new, but the unit can be bought separately uh, to put on a good existing tanker. You probably would need a 120 horsepower tractor, not much more than is needed for a conventional splash plate. The dilution of the slurry is also very important and um, for the distribution in the field. And the other big advantage is you get a far more even spread. The benefit of using a trailing shoe in early April as against a splash plate after cutting silage is worth a significant amount of money in, in fertiliser usage. And I think in today's efforts to reduce carbon emissions on uh, farms, using splash plates really is an out-of-date method of spreading slurry, I think, at this stage. And if we can use any other means of spreading, that would improve our carbon footprint, I think we should be using it.